Okay. Never see a hot stop right now. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome to yet another edition of your San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. So your Padres are taking on the St. Louis Cardinals, who I guess you could say are struggling a bit. You will see that Corey Lukey and Adam Wainwright will be going on the mound, and the Cardinals are just a couple of games above 500, as the Padres are about 18, I think. So. These two teams switching roles, usually the Cardinals are a powerhouse in the NL, and uh, this year, not so much. So we're starting out here with a walk here. Corey Lukey cannot close out the inning, and as a result, he has a base runner. 3-2 pitch, though, as this should be a ground out here to third, which it is. So after the top of the first, no damage done, just a walk. It's still 0-0, and we will move on to the bottom of the first. You see the lineup here, highlighted by Matt Kemp hitting in the 3-hole, 3-0-9 as he looks to continue and they'll be going against Adam Wainwright which to his standards is struggling a bit this season 8-8 eight eight. the ERA is there 287 not bad usually it's lower but that's decent um, through 24 games so he's definitely looking to get back on the right track leadoff batter on the game Alcides Escobar and he is going down on strikes and that is the first strike out of the game this time it belongs to Adam Wainwright next batter Matt Kemp two outs to go or two outs gone here and make it three as he'll strike out. So two strikeouts in the first inning for Wainwright as he is cruising. Colton Wong up to the plate with runners on first and second. And he is going to hit into a double play. Yes, sir. So they get out of the inning there with one out and runners on first and second. So nice job there. We'll fast forward here. Bottom of the second. Justin Upton up to the plate. The 3-1 pitch is hit into left center. That's going to drop. So Justin Upton gets... The first base hit of the game for the club, and he is on first. Now Will Middlebrooks up to bat. The 1-2 pitch is also hit in the left field, and it will also fall. So now Upton will advance to second, and there are runners on first and second. For Yonder Alonso, 1-1 one, one pitch is hit, and that is not what we wanted as he's going to hit into a double play. Upton will advance to third, but now there are just runners on third with two outs now. Derek Norris trying to get a run home. He hits this one over to third, but it's cut off. Throw over to first is in time, and that is the inning. So unfortunately, we can't get a run here with Justin Upton on third. As we'll move forward to the top of the third, loop key dealing full counts, and that is hit in the left center. Jason Hayward delivers for the Cardinals. This is trouble. Upton gets it as Hayward is going to stay at second. So he'll throw it to the cutoff man. So that's a double for Jason Hayward. And the Cardinals are in business. Full count now to Matt Holliday. He is th hitting it over to third. And what a nice play over there by Will Middlebrooks. Flashing the leather, making the stop, and retiring Matt Holliday. So, moving forward now. Top of the fourth now. This is Yanni Yadier Molina up to bat. He's in this one over to right. But Matt Kemp misjudges the ball. And as a result, this is going to be major trouble as the runner is coming and they will advance to second and third. Now, see, Yadier Molina is not going to get the hit. It's the error. But, uh, yeah, Matt Kemp definitely misjudged that one. Moving forward, Trevor Plough hitting this one into left field. It's playable for Upton as they will look to tag up here. Here's the throw, and it is offline and late. So the Cardinals will take a 1-0 lead. Colton Wong up to bat now, hit into a double play earlier. Runners on the corners with an out. Can he hit into another double play? There's one. And he's too fast. Can't get two. And as a result, another run comes home and scores. Maybe should have thrown that one up to home plate. But uh, either way, Cardinals now up 2-0. Bottom of the fourth. Base is empty here for Matt Kemp. And he is trying to get the Padres going here as he gets a single into left. As he will just not have enough time to go to second. Maybe he could have there. That was kind of a bad throw. But either way, he gets a single left. That will bring on Yonder Alonso with two outs. Now runners on first and second as Kemp is at second. And this one's right to Jason Hayward and right. So that will retire the side. And unfortunately, it's still 2-0 Cardinals. Fifth inning. 1-2 pitch from Loopke. And he gets his first strike out of the game, getting Jason Hayward looking 
And that is going to do it for his at-bat. Yadier Molina up to bat now with a runner at first and two outs. That is going to do it. Yonder Alonso throws that one over to second where Escobar's there. And he basically just makes it a routine play there. So it's still 2-0 Cardinals. And we're bringing in Despaigne here who's 0-2 with a 7-5-2 ERA. Not a good year for him. But he's coming in as Corey Lukey's done for the Knights after five innings. And Despaigne is not helping his cause out as that is a leadoff single into center. So Cardinals looking to add on here to their 2-0 lead. Johnny Peralta up to bat, runner on first, no outs, 2-2 pitch to him is hit into left center. That is trouble. Myers cuts it off barely. The runner's going to have time to go all the way to third. And now there's runners on the corner. Despaigne not looking very good. We're going to have to bring in Kevin Quackenbush to cl clean things up here as he has a 1-2 record. And he deals once you pitch is hit into right field. Yonder Alonso cannot cut it off. And as a result, the Cardinals tack on yet another run. It's now 3-0. And now the bases are loaded for Quackenbush. That is it into center. Myers is there. He's under it. He makes the catch. But both runners are going to tag easily, which means it's now 4-0 Cardinals. So Quackenbush and Despaigne not helping out their team here as it is now 4-0. Kemp up to bat. Trying to get something going here for the Padres. The 2 on pitch is hit. In the center, this might have a chance. Center fielder's going back. He's at the track, and you can wave that one goodbye. So we can definitely use a few more of those. Matt Cam doing all he can here. He got a single earlier, now a homer. So he is obviously the best Padre of the night, but uh, he's going to need some help from his teammates here as now Justin Upton is up to the plate, and he is hitting this one deep into right. Can this leave the park? No, it's off the wall. And he is trying for second. A nice throw by Hayward. It's actually just a little bit offline. So Justin Upton is in there with a double. Yonder Alonso up to bat. Two outs trying to get Upton home. And it doesn't look like he will. And he does not. So yet another left in scoring position here for the Padres. As we'll bring in Sean Kelly here in the eighth inning, I believe, who's 9-1. It's a shame we have to put him in um, to a game like this. Usually he's coming into the games that we are winning. But he's not even helping out our cause. We're just really unfocused right now. We really are. That's going to score another run. And it is 5-1 Cardinals. Look at this. The runner even goes to second. So just not thinking clearly. Clearly unfocused. And trying to get out of the inning here. Upton is under it. Oh, God. Uh, um. Yeah, you've seen that before. Upton's usually pretty solid and left. But this, this last month, he's just making a lot of errors. And that's going to lead to another run scored. So... Just going off what I just said, the Padres just do not look focused right now, and it's now a 6-1 ball game. Matt Kemp, though, honestly the best Padre of the night. If they somehow come back and win, he's definitely going to be the player of the game with a single and a homer and making nice catches like that. Will Myers out to bat now in the bottom of the eighth, trying to get something going, and a nice play here, cutting it off. Johnny Peralta makes a catch, but now he throws it away. Maybe you should have just not thrown that at all because Myers was definitely safe. He's now in second. Kemp is up to bat, and he is doing it again. A triple shy of the cycle. He gets a double here, and oh, man. No, oh, he's going for three. Myers scores, and Kemp is in there. Never mind. He's a double away from the cycle. I thought that was going to be a double. Myers scores easily, so it's 6-2, to two, but Kemp gets an RBI triple there. So, uh, yeah, that's it for Wainwright's Knights as this is Will Middlebrooks in the ninth. Never mind. Still the eighth. He's hitting that one, and that is going to score. But Upton is thrown out a third. So just some bad, poor base running decisions here. So we do get one more run. It is now 6-3. to three. We're bringing in Benoit here to close out things, or at least to keep things the way they are at uh, the most. Don't want them to score any more runs as we go into the bottom of the ninth. Looks like it's going to do it, and Myers makes the catch. So 6-3 here going into the ninth. We're going to need three runs. Let's we'll see if we can do it here as they are bringing in the closer, Trevor Rosenthal. Derek Norris, first batter of the ninth one-two pitch, gets him swinging as he is done, and now there are one down in the game. Next batter, Jed Jerko, he is struggling. 0 for 3, 3-2 three pitch to him, and he is hitting this one into right. Jason Hayward can't make the catch, and Jerko is so slow, he's going to have to keep that a single. But that is a single into right, I believe, unless they call that an error. So we're going to bring in Austin Hedges here to pinch hit. And with a runner on first, that is Jerko. He's not going anywhere. That's a strikeout for Hedges. Next batter, Escobar, hits this one into center field. So that's a base hit. Trying to get this going now with runners on first and second with two outs. 
The last hope is Will Myers, and he can tie it up with a home run. He's done it before. Can he do it again? One zero pitch coming. Nope. That's the ball game. Trevor Rosenthal with the save. And unfortunately, Will Myers cannot be the hero of the day. So Adam Wainwright started out very, very good. It's very hard to get anything going off of him. Probably would have been the player of the game, but then he let up those runs. So it's 6-3 the final score from San Diego as the Cardinals will take this game. And your player of the game is Trevor Rosenthal just for nailing things down in the ninth, keeping it a 6-3 game. And that is going to do it for the episode. Unfortunately, your Padres just did not look focused today. They really got to regain that. They had 13 hits. That's four more than the Cardinals, but unfortunately they couldn't get the win. 6-3 your final score. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for an important series. Next episode, subscribe and peace.